Joanne with ExpressionsVinyl.com. And have you ever wanted to do a large vinyl wall decal? Something that's larger than your Cricut can cut out? Well, I'm gonna show you today how to do that. So to get it set up, we've gotta do everything over in the computer. So let's go over there now. Okay, so in Design Space, choose the image that you want. And this is one that I actually drew. And then I'm gonna change the size. It's gonna be pretty big. I did it about, about three feet. So you change the size, you can either do that at top or just by dragging the image down in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, now that you have it the size that you want, go ahead and add in a rectangle. And this rectangle will act as the size of vinyl or the sheet of vinyl that you're gonna be working with. And I'm gonna choose just 11 by 22 inches. It's gonna leave me a little bit of clearance on the top and the sides to work with. So once I've got one of those in there, it's gonna take quite a few to go through and slice your image. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste and get several rectangles. And then I'll just move them to the side until I'm ready to use each one of those. Okay, now you're ready to move your image and get everything aligned and spaced exactly the way you need it. So put your image in the top left hand corner, or if you go to the top under position, the X, Y axis, put it at zero and zero for both the X and the Y. Then with your rectangle, change that to zero and zero. And if your rectangle is in front of your image, just go ahead and click on arrange and put it back behind your image. Now that you've got the first one done, go ahead and do that with the rest of your rectangles. And I'm gonna go through a few of them here really quick. Now that I have several in place, I'm going to go start slicing the images. So I'm gonna choose the rectangle that's in the top left-hand corner and also my image. Once I've chosen both of those, then just go ahead and click on the slice in the bottom right hand. And what that's gonna do is slice that small piece away from the rest of it. Now that it's sliced, you'll see in the top right-hand corner of your layers panel all the different sections that it's done. Two of them are exactly the same. You're gonna to want to delete one of those that's the same, and then also delete that rectangle that's been sliced. And that's gonna leave you one piece of the image as well as the original main image. And then go ahead and do that with the second rectangle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with the rest of those that I have in place right now. And as you notice, every time that you slice, it puts those four pieces at the very top, so it's easy to find the last four that you've worked with. And you just remove the duplicate one as well as the rectangle. Now on this one, to kind of help me see which ones I've already sliced, I'm going to change the color. So just click on the gray dot and change it to a different color. This one I'm gonna change them all to red. So as soon as I've sliced it, I'm gonna change them all to red so I know what I've done. And after that, I'm gonna finish putting the rest of my rectangles and slicing the rest of the pieces through my entire image. Okay, so now you can see that was my last piece. I've got them all changed to red, which means I've sliced the entire thing. So now it's several different pieces that will fit on a sheet of vinyl and it'll be ready to go put up on my wall. But first, don't forget to save while you're doing this. Periodically save throughout this project. And now to help me put it on the wall, I'm going to add numbers to each of the pieces of vinyl just to help me know where to start and where to end so that I know which ones to match up. So put a number, any font, 
that you want to choose. Just put the number one through ten or however many pieces you have or some other way that you know to identify which piece goes up first. Move it down to that section and just attach it to that section. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Attach my numbers to each of those different sections and then once I do that I'm going to change the color again to a green color just so I know that I've already attached a number to that section. Okay, so now that you have all the numbers attached to their individual pieces, you can see I've got them all here. Some of them I had to make a little smaller or bigger, just depending on where you could fit the number in. I'm ready to go ahead and send it to my machine to cut. So now on the screen, it's ready to cut. You can see all the different mats that it's going to take and all the different sheets of vinyl, but I'm kind of excited to get this cut and put up on the wall. So go ahead and click on continue. Choose the machine that you want to cut with and you're ready to go. Okay, so now I'm ready to put this on the wall and I had a perfect wall to put this on at home. I'm gonna start in the bottom left-hand corner with my number one. And as you can see, there are actually more pieces to this one than what were on the screen earlier. I decided to make it a little bigger, even a bigger challenge to myself. So start with my number one and move to number two and just keep applying each of those pieces to the wall until I finish. Now, as you can see, as I've gone through it a little bit, the daylight has changed to evening and it's a different day. So you've got to plan for a little bit of time, but it is well worth it once you get this all up on the wall. Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting the last piece on the wall. I'm really excited the way it's turned out. I'm curious to see how many people have tried it as well. And there you go, there's the final one up on the wall. So now that you've seen the entire process, is this something that you want to attempt? It's really not that hard. If you've got any questions about this, leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.